This is an open letter for whoever I'm going to date in the future. And, you know, if you're watching this, well, this is like the best case scenario for bed hair. So don't expect much. I, I'm hoping at that this point, if you're watching this video, that we are um, comfortable with each other's grossness. But, you know, eh. I hope I'm not giving you like a hard time. I hope you're happy. That's a good thing if you're happy and I'm happy. And I hope, you know, things don't suck when you're watching this. Anyway, I want to talk about how I want this relationship to evolve. Let's just get this out of the way. I don't want to get married because it's an expensive, capricious social construct that doesn't really matter at the end, but at the same time, I want to get married because I'm heteronormative like that. Please don't break up with me. Another thing that's really heteronormative of me is that I want you, potential boyfriend, fiance, partner, husband, person, to propose to me. <laughs> <laughs> Suffer! Please still love me. Also, I want to wear a dress, but no, no, don't worry, I probably won't do that. Let's get to the how you should propose to me part of this thing. First things first, don't do it with a flash mob. I will run away from the scenario and then break up with you because no. Ugh. It might be sweet, it might be cute for a lot of people, but I don't even like it when people sing happy birthday to me. Also, don't put it in my food. If you're watching this and we're this far into our relationship where you think that, oh, maybe we should get married and stuff like that, ooh, you should know that I eat like it's nobody's goddamn business. Okay, I'm gonna shovel that ring into my mouth, down my esophagus, and I'll probably digest some of it off, which is probably, like, not safe for my body. Therefore, do not put it in my food unless you have a stomach pump waiting right beside you. Which would make the whole thing obvious, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna show you a couple of pictures of the kinds of rings I want. If, if the ring isn't one of those rings, an door ring or um, a dearest ring where all of the gems on the ring spell a word, either adore or dearest, then what's the point, dude? Why? Why? Why are you even proposing to me? Like, I don't give a shit if you spent millions of dollars on a diamond ring the size of my fist. <laughs> I just remembered friends, I'm sorry. I want the stupid looking rings that spell the stupid fucking word, okay? Don't propose to me in front of strangers, please. If you do it in a restaurant, I'll, I'll run away. If you do it at a park, I'll run away. Anywhere with people I don't know, I will run away. But if you're wholly incapable of not doing it in public, if you know what I, no. If you really want people to witness our undying love, then do it at a concert. Preferably a Demi Lovato concert. Preferably while she's singing lightweight. But hey, I'm not picky. If she's not singing lightweight at any of her concerts anymore, then any sweet Demi Lovato song would do. I will make it applicable to us. Trust me, I will make it applicable. If you got this far in the video and haven't decided to break up with me, then congratulations. To give you a fair warning, I don't want us to get married under five years of being in a relationship. I'm assuming that we've discussed this like privately, but if we haven't and you're watching this, then just show me this video and then we'll talk. Wouldn't that be fun? But if we're on year six, then go ahead, plan the damn thing. But if we're not, I'll explain, I promise. But honestly, apart from the whole flash mob thing, like seriously, don't do that, please. You do what you think is a sweet gesture. Do something that you're comfortable with. Buy the ring that you're comfortable with. Buy the ring that you think I'll like. It doesn't matter what kind of ring it is, fuck it. You're marrying me, that's one... <laughs> I'm speechless just thinking about the possibility that someday someone will want to marry me. Do the proposal on your own terms, on your own time. Just surprise me because sometimes I actually like surprises. If you mean it and you really want to do it, then I'll say yes. I'll be the best goddamn husband you'll ever have and our wedding is gonna be bomb as fuck. Do people still say bomb as fuck when you're watching this? Anyway, I hope this helps future potential boyfriend, partner, fiance, husband, person. And if not, why are you dating me?